this is Pumpkin Heart. Now we're going to do a small little walkthrough. I want to show you all my masks. I just ended up getting eight extra Jason Voorhees masks. Some of them are in fact duplicates, but they're hanging on the wall. And I want to show you all the masks that I have so far. These are the more, you know, like the vintage, uh, I don't know what they would call them, but they're like a hard plastic mask with a little string and you kind of, and this one here is more like a ghost face type thing. And I got some Dollar Tree type ones here. This one here, okay. And some Day of the Dead. And then down here is a green one, if you can see it. And that one right there is my Plague Doctor mask, okay. That's pretty cool. Day of the Dead. A Vintage Clown mask, okay. Alright. And obviously the bloody variants for the ghost face mask. Now up here are my Frankensteins. Okay. This is the biggest one I got right here. He's huge. And that's my Trick or Treat Studios version. Frankenstein slash zombie version. Then down here is the Ruby's version of Jason Voorhees. I do one day want to actually mess around with the mask and kind of repaint it. And probably give it a more natural color. I'm not sure what I want to do. Maybe totally black. I think it would look, go look good against that uh, skin that you had to pull over your head. It's like a full uh, mask that lays over your shoulder and stuff. And you wear the hockey mask. Anyway, I want to spray paint that. Maybe black or something. Give it a Savini look or some shit. But who knows. Alright. Okay. That's my Scareborn. These are the three uh, Season of the Witches. Clown masks, okay. And then down here, Scarecrow. These are Forest Druid masks, okay. Obviously, Billy. This here is a Mohawk zombie. I know the lighting's bad here, but I'm just kind of showing you what I got so far. Another uh, ghost face mask, Demon. Down here, these guys are ceramic. And I got some other ones down here at the bottom. If you can see him. Now up on the wall here. This guy here is in fact in the way. So I kind of pull him out of the way. So you can see what he looks like. Alright. Let me pull that down so I can actually see what I ain't doing. Alright. Now these guys are up on the wall. You can get up a little higher. Clown mask. I got that from Party City. Uh, these are more like halo type uh, masks right here. These guys right here are pretty cool. Okay. Alright. Let's get the angles right. There you go. Alright. Now the Jason Voorhees collection that I have. We'll start down here. And like I said I got a total of 8 of them. For 40 bucks. They're cheap. Uh, they're knockoffs. But they look cool on the wall. And you get what you pay for. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now you will see duplicates here, okay? And that's my NECA version, that's a, um, um, what do you call them, a replica of the one from uh, Final Chapter, okay? These are the paintball masks. As you can see, they're a little bit different, they're more scrunched, but if you put them, put them on your face, they look good. Another black one, okay, up there is the Spirit Halloween version. And then across the wall here, we got some different ones. Alright. Alright guys, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That yellow one there is solid yellow. And that one way up there is supposed to be solid yellow. But it's got some blotches of white. Again, like I said, I got duplicates. I'm going to go ahead and customize some of them. They're more like a template. So I'm going to play around with them. But that's what my mask looks like so far on this wall here. I'm going to kind of walk back here a little bit so you can see what everything looks like if I can get that angle. Now as you can see there's quite a bit on that shelf. I actually had that shelf built out in my shed. We had to paint it and everything. Okay straight up the wall here. Okay that's it right there guys. Alright and I just started this mask collection literally six months ago. But anyway, this is Pumpkin Heart. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be pushing out some more videos. Look at my uh, newest video that I'm in the process of uploading. 
which shows the Jason Voorhees masks. Like I said, they are in fact duplicates. Uh, but these, the ones that I got in today, were all intact. There was no flaws to them. The straps are all there. My first batch, not so much. One of the buttons would not snap on the mask, so I had to literally cut the um, strap. And it didn't work out right, as you can see up on the wall there. All right. So I kind of you know, managed to get it up on the wall. And that's the main thing. But this last batch was really perfect. But like I said, there are duplicates here. Alright, this is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.